Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Aki 3-in-1 wide-angle macro and fish lens lenses for a smartphone. It's a universal set that's going to work with any iPhone, so 6 or 6S, 6S Plus. It also works with most Android phones that have a slightly off-centered camera module. It's not going to work with a phone that has, let's say, a very centered camera, such as, let's say, the LG G Flex, but for a lot of... Uh, phones that feature a offset either to the left or right module, it should work just fine. This one sells on Amazon for about 10 bucks, so it's not too expensive, and the quality is honestly comparable to other uh, of these lens sets that you might find uh, from companies, let's say, uh, such as Polaroid. Um, otherwise, the packaging here is pretty simple, just features a recyclable paper look, cardboard look. The back features a QR code that you can scan to learn more information about the company. And there's also a few descriptions about the overall effect that you get. So the fish ends uh, will obviously create a wider field of view up to 120 degrees to see and capture more uh, within one shot, which is going to be good for landscape shots, but it does also stretch your overall picture. There's also macro lens for getting really up close to maybe flowers and uh, content that is close in your hand. There's also the ability for a additional wide angle lens that creates a, a more even effect. It's not as uh, not as distorted as fish eyes, but still creates a wider field of view. So in here we have access to a mount, which is made out of plastic for attaching the lenses onto your phone. There's also protections for the each of the individual lenses attached to the lenses. So here is one, and then we have another uh, mount looks like just for uh, maybe a smaller device. So we'll check that out as well. It seems like this part can actually slide out of the bottom here. We have the second lens, which is also protected by this rubber cover, and it, I'm guessing that because there's only two that I see, uh, the third one actually allows you to flip over one of the pre-existing lenses and use it as kind of a convertible third. But in here there's also a cardboard uh, kind of packaging that tells you how to install and attach a lens onto the clips, onto your phone, how to remove it, and there's also a microfiber cleaning cloth for preventing any dust from landing on the lenses and from the camera module so that before you install it you get a proper uh, image when you are taking your photos. So next we're going to take a closer look at uh, the lenses and we're going to try attaching them onto a phone but before that let's take a closer look at the quality uh, first. So they are made out of aluminum as far as the rim is concerned and the actual lens is out of glass so uh, the overall feel in the hand is actually quite sturdy, a lot heavier than I initially expected. Unlike the Polaroid version that we checked out a few months ago, there isn't a small carrying pouch that you get. So traveling with this is a little bit trickier, you maybe have just to take the box with you. Uh, but otherwise there's a bit of extra information on the very top, you can see this is the specifications for this particular lens, 0.67 times wide, 10 times macro, so this is like this is likely the macro lens, uh, and this is again what it looks like. The top of the cover just shows a uh, digital camera module for phones, and it says lens on it, it doesn't have Aki's name, so this is probably a generic build I'm guessing. Um, otherwise the clip here, made out of plastic, does have a rubber tip on the other side so it doesn't scratch your phone or damage it just from the insertion and removal process and seems to be pretty secure as far as the attachment. All right, so doing a quick demo of the lens kit next, you can see that it uh, definitely does work. I have it attached onto a Samsung Galaxy device and this is the wide angle lens first, which you can see kind of distorts the picture, makes it almost a fish ends effect that reminds me of perhaps a GoPro or an action camera. You get more in uh, one shot, but the downside is your image quality is going to be a bit more fuzzy. Of course, you can tap to focus and it works uh, reasonably well, but you have to make sure to clean the lens regularly because after it gets uh, kind of dusty or smudged with a lit fingerprints, then that definitely will distract from the overall uh, picture quality. The experience is going to vary from phone to phone. If your phone's uh, sensor as well as the resolution was slightly higher in the first place, you might get a slightly better picture as well, uh, which is to be expected. But again, this is pretty much what you get in terms of the field of view and the experience when using this uh, first lens. So color and everything remains the same as the original uh, sensor from, from your phone. And it grips on, you can see that it definitely does uh, distract a little bit in terms of the screen real estate. It uh, will touch the display, especially for a phone with a smaller bezel, so that's something to point out as well. But since it is made out of rubber, it's not going to scratch the phone's screen, which is good. So this is what the regular viewfinder is like, and you can see it's also a bit sharper. So if we tug this off of the you know included clip here, which is pretty easy to do, we can swap it out for the next 
The second one is still a wide-angle lens, however not to the same extent of the first one, which I think is a good thing since it doesn't distort the picture as much. You can still fit much more within one shot of the frame, so that's nice to see. This one's also a bit more crisp and clean looking, so it's easier to tap to focus no matter what type of phone you're trying it with. You can see here that the image quality still remains fairly in focus, and there's a slight amount of curvature to the lens if you zoom all the way in. You can see how the middle starts to be kind of rounded, but all in all you get a lot cleaner looking photos from this one since it doesn't try to fit so much into just the one shot. Um, and after you're done, you can also tuck it off just to compare it with what the regular shot looks like. So yeah, that's a quick first look and a quick review of the Aki lens kit set for your smartphones. And you can check out more details in our official written review, which includes a bit more details about the performance, the testing, and some sample shots that we took. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.